try an ice cold start. 1984 GMC 3500. We had some issues with this truck. Uh, battery was weak, so we put a new battery in it. <clears throat> Walmart special. Uh, I then put marine grade terminals and put the crimp on it. And let's put the new battery on it. Still wouldn't start. And tested everything and everything looked okay. I had no gauges. All I had was headlights. And turns out that wire coming down off that stud on the firewall with the new three-way connector and stuff was completely blown off. What scares me is I still don't know why. There is a fusible link right there. I was going to put one in here, but my mechanic buddy said, nah, don't. So maybe I'll just unhook the battery until I can figure it out further. Uh, I did turn the key. I do have power to the gauges, which I didn't have before. And this hasn't been started <clears throat> since before Christmas. And we've gotten some snow. It's probably high 20s maybe right now. We'll see how it fires up. If it fires up, hopefully it does. Um, <clears throat> engine's been rebuilt. M code 350. Uh, carburetor I rebuilt. It's quadrajet. I don't think I have the choke right though, so I usually have to pump the shit out of it. So, gauges work. Fuel gauge says empty, but sending unit screwed up. Haven't done that yet. Let's see what happens. Pump it. That's good. It's turning over. <clears throat> Got um, put a new ignition on it, new HEI, plugs, wires, caps. 